हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑटो स्टडी वे टू चेंज द लर्निंग ऑफ ऑटोमोबाइल सो फ्रेंड्स आर टूडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू ऑल बिकॉज वी विल डिस्कस बेसिक फुल फॉर्म्स दैट आर यूज इन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री एंड ऑल्सो दैट आर मेनली यूज इन योर एग्जाम्स सो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक वन ए बी एस ए बी एस स्टैंड फॉर एंटी लॉक ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम and it is a safety anti skid braking system used in aircraft and on road vehicles such as cars motorcycles trucks and buses now the next word is bhp it stands for brake horse power so guys bhp has been used as the definitive measurement of engine power next is mrf mrf stands for madras rubber factory So friends, MRF is an Indian multinational tire manufacturing company and the largest manufacturer of tires in India and also it is the sixth largest manufacturer in the world. Next is TVS which stands for Thirukurungudi Vengaram Sundaram. So friends, Thirukurungudi Vengaram Sundaram Iyengar was an Indian industrialist and in 1911 he founded TV Sundaram Iyengar and Sons, a bus company which later diversified into automobile production. and emerged as the parent company of the TVS group now the next is JCB it stands for Joseph Cyril Bamford so Joseph Cyril Bamford was a british businessman who was the founder of JCB company who is manufacturing heavy plant now the next is VDB VDB stands for ventilated disc brake so friends this type of brake disc is designed to prevent heating and fading now the next is SOSC which stands for single overhead camshaft SOSC setup typically allows a two or three valves per cylinder configuration where usually one valve allows air to enter and the other allows gases to escape now the next is DOSC which stands for double overhead camshaft so DOSC was introduced to improve the volumetric efficiency of an internal combustion engine and the result of which is more powerful friends if you want to know more about SOSC and DOSC you can go through our previous video whose link is given in our description box now let's move on to our next full form which is CRDI so it stands for common rail direct injection friends this is a fuel injection system which provides a level of flexibility which can be exploited for class leading emission control power and fuel consumption now the next is TDI it stands for turbocharged direct injection it is a combination of two existing diesel engine technologies which includes direct injection and turbocharging now the next is dtsi it stands for digital twin spark ignition so it has two spark plugs that used to ignite the charge in the combustion chamber and the plugs at the end of the combustion chamber helps in faster and better combustion now the next is aecm it stands for airbag electronic control module So friends AECM acts like the brain of the airbag system and it receives signal from the various sensors and decides if and when each airbag should deploy Now the next is MPFI which stands for multi point fuel injection So in a multi point fuel injection system each cylinder has a separate fuel injector that supplies fuel from the fuel tank to the cylinders Now the next is EBD which stands for electronic brake force distribution Friends it is an automobile brake technology that automatically varies the amount of force applied to each of a vehicle's wheel based on road condition speed loading etc Now the next is RPM which stands for revolution per minute it is the number of turns in 1 minute and it is the unit of rotational speed or the frequency of rotation around a fixed axis Now the next is HVAC which stands for heating ventilating and air conditioning so hvac is the technology of indoor and vehicular environmental comfort and its goal is to provide thermal comfort and acceptable indoor air quality now the next is arai which stands for automotive research association of india so friends it is the leading automotive r&d organization of the country set up by the automotive industry with the government of india now the next is awd It stands for all wheel drive vehicles. It is one with a power train capable of providing power to all its wheel. Next is AAT which stands for ambient air temperature. So friends it is the average air temperature surrounding something whether inside or outside and in relation to weather and the ambient temperature is the same as the current air temperature at any one location. Now the next is VSC which stands for vehicle stability control. 
Friends, VSC is a system that helps to prevent side skids and help to stabilize the vehicle while turning on a curve. Now the next is ZEV, which stands for Zero Emission Vehicle. It is a vehicle that never emits exhaust gas from the onboard source of power. Now the next is ASA. It stands for Automatic Slack Adjuster. It is a vital part of the foundation brake and it acts as a lever, forming the connection between the actuator and the camshaft. The function of the ASA is to compensate for wheel in both braking line and brake drum while maintaining a constant stroke of the actuator. Now the next is FTP, which stands for Fuel Tank Pressure. The fuel tank pressure sensor is the part of the fuel pump assembly and it is mounted on top of the tank or inside the tank and it reads the pressure of the fuel system to detect evaporative leaks such as a loose or faulty gas cap. Now the next is CVN which stands for calibration verification number. So it is used to verify the integrity of the vehicle software and the manufacturers use this to determine if the calibration currently on car is in fact original. Now the next is EGR which stands for exhaust gas recirculation. So friends, it is a system that allows the exhaust gases to be recirculated back into the intake manifold and this process leads to a significant reduction in nitrogen oxides emission. So friends, these are the basic full forms that are used in your automobile industries and mainly used in your exams. If you have any doubt regarding these full forms, you can ask us in our comment box section. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel so that I'll get motivated for making more such learning videos.